Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another viewer inspired Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I'm on my website, hlmodtech.com. This is the Tinkercad tab. There are a ton of lessons, and there's also the sweet built in message tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the Tinkercad Community Discord. It has more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. So I'm going to pause for just a moment. As you can see, I'm in Tinkercad. These are my projects. This is another user that I'm helping out right now, and I just want to highlight this. So friends, this is a project a user was struggling with. He sent me a message on Facebook. Friends, I built the solution, and then this is what is so cool. You can click on this button, generate a link, copy the link, and then I can shoot that back to you so you can open the project and check it out. I can also add little notes, like I can say here, check this out and you can send notes back and forth as you're trying to figure out what you're trying to fix it is so amazing and two people can be in the same design at once so you could actually be kind of solving this together i will warn you it does have a little bit of lag when you're doing it all right friends so this is the awesome project that was shared with me once again use the notes so this was totally explained i was able to read from left to right that what we were trying to do is make a box with this yellow one and then we needed to have the filled in piece now i have got techniques where we use what's called an inverse hole and we cut the outside out and i had made a copy of the yellow box and i was getting ready to do that but then are you ready for this friends I'm going to do control D just because this is so nuts. I wanted the inside filled out for cutting, so I just went to the wall and boom, filled it in. There is the exact shape you need. And it was just solved instantly where we were trying to cut this magically using this. All we really had to do was make the wall totally filled in. Now, once again, if the user doesn't send me this note, I don't come up with the solution. I did not remember that that was possible. I was just clicking buttons, exploring, and boom, had a eureka moment. You can take the soft box, you can fill in the wall, and bam, you've got the shape you want. Now friends, if you're looking for the soft box, let me show you what you do. You just type soft, and then boom, you can bring this in, change the dimensions to exactly what you want, change the walls and the outer radius, and bam, start making amazing Tinkercad projects. Really quick as I wrap up, friends, don't sleep on the Tinkercad subreddit. That is where Alex initially reached out. I do want to say thanks again for that. It is a fantastic place to share the cool things that you're doing in Tinkercad and ask questions if you're stuck. Friends, finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you totally make my day if you take time to add comments down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.